My beloved child, know that I am the source of your salvation, not the cause of your troubles. I will lead you out of your difficulties, lifting the burdens from your shoulders. Your future holds promise, and though adversity may try to bring hardship into your life, it will not prevail. Your faith is the sword with which you will cut through the obstacles before you. You may stumble at times, weighed down by negative thoughts and emotions that seek to overwhelm you. But you will triumph if you keep my Holy Spirit at the center of your life and heart. I have done all that was necessary to save you, and I have set before you a legacy of victory and blessing. Now it is your turn to hold fast, as you have been doing. I tell you now, when you most need to hear it, you are on the verge of reaching a spiritual summit where miracles will become commonplace in your life. Do not falter now. You have come so far. Do not let your tears and efforts be in vain. Keep your focus on the goal ahead. Your faith and perseverance will not go unrewarded. Press on with courage. While others may lose hope, you are destined for a different path. My spirit will surround you and fill your home. Heaven will pour out gifts and blessings upon you, and joy will permeate your dwelling. Those who have strayed will return, seeking restoration. A time of healing and reconciliation is at hand. My strength will uphold you in times of trouble. I will fortify your spirit and guide your steps through uncertainty. I have blessed you in heaven so that my glory might extend to your family, neighbors, friends, and acquaintances. I call you to come to me each morning, to listen and learn. Reflect on all I have already done in your life, on all the times I have come through for you when the odds seemed insurmountable. Do not turn away. Do not lose what you have gained. From this point forward, you will receive more blessings than you can imagine. But I long to see you every morning, filled with gratitude and hungry for truth. My blessing and love encompass you. My peace and comfort surround you, embracing you with love. Experience the depth of my love for you, which I now reveal to you in its fullness. I knew your words before you spoke them, your feelings before you felt them. You lifted your despair to me in prayer, and I received your anguish and worry. I feel your pain. I hear every word you say. Though you may think your prayers barely make it past the walls of your home, I assure you that I have heard them all. I will answer your prayers, and that matter we both know about will be resolved for the better. Consider it settled. I urge you to come to me today with the same confidence you had yesterday. Life continues, and our friendship endures. Seize every opportunity to share your heart with me. Do not claim to no longer need me, or to have fulfilled every desire of your heart. Never shy away from me in times of joy. Life is ever-changing, and I want your faith to grow strong for the future days when you may wish to come to me again. I know you still love me, and even in moments of great happiness, your heart cries out for me. True happiness cannot be found if you set me aside and cease to walk with me. Your spirit may grow cold, and a great emptiness may develop within you. For this reason, I knock at your door each day, at every moment, until you realize that if you try to flee, I will pursue you. My love will never let you go. Neither circumstances nor a change of heart can extinguish my love for you. The words I share with you today are spoken with love and offered as a gentle warning. Let us continue to commune. Seek me out, pray, and you will find rest, and your cares will fade away. I will alleviate your fears if you allow me to. Set aside your worries and distractions for a moment, and open your heart wide to receive these words. Tend to the place where I dwell within you. My presence remains constant when others turn away, when hostility surrounds you, and in those dark times of profound solitude. I am your Father, your God, and your friend. Perhaps you cannot fully comprehend my love for you. It surpasses anything you can imagine. A kindness so profound you've never experienced its like before. You might be your harshest critic, but your mistakes do not make you unworthy of such deep love. Do not scold or belittle yourself, for that only breeds sadness and despair. I will remove the veils of darkness you have placed over your spiritual eyes so that you can see me clearly. 
I will soften your heart so you can rely on me completely. Come to me, especially when life feels exhausting and overwhelming. Draw near so that you can find the peace you seek and the rest you need. I don't want your days to be heavy, to wake up with a broken heart and a weary spirit. I gave my life in an act of love so that you could live a life filled with the joy of God. Now I break the bonds that have held you back, the chains that prevented you from moving forward into the blessed life I have prepared for you are now broken. Don't return to your old ways, begging permission to live. If you want to love and follow me, that choice is yours. I have invested much in your freedom and happiness. But your adversaries stand on the other side, hoping for your failure. Stand firm, be strong, and advance steadily from this world you are leaving into the new life I have for you. You have already been blessed. Place your confidence in my words, my child. They will bring you joy. Do not dwell on past mistakes. Do not let them weigh you down. Focus on your future instead. Don't look back. It distracts you from the present. When you feel weak and tired, remember that my strength is your refuge. My dear child, the love in your heart is vast and kind. Your character is noble, and your spirit is humble yet strong. Many trials have come your way, yet you have not become proud, cold, or ungrateful. You have always tried to help others. As days pass, I know you will grow weary of constant trials, but I can already sense the lasting faith you have in me. Please don't keep this all inside. When life weighs heavily upon you, turn to me. I love and accept you just as you are. If you feel discouraged, if you feel your efforts go unnoticed or unappreciated, confide in me. I already know the condition of your heart. I know your struggles. I know everything. It's time to confess and share your pain and disappointment with me. This is why I know you rarely complain. You simply need to talk. And who better than me? Your Heavenly Father who loves and understands you completely. Your loved ones are occupied with their own lives. They may not be able to give you the attention you need. They too feel the pressures of life. They too are always searching for a way forward. Neither you nor they can give what they do not possess. Only I can love you with an everlasting love. Come to me, for I am a listening God. I will not reject the real you. I will not be angered by your honesty. Though you seldom ask for anything, remember, you are only human. Your heart yearns to be adored, to be filled with divine love. The love and attention of others will never be enough. You need something more. It's a matter of the spirit. Your soul longs to be loved and held by your heavenly Father. My love for you is steadfast and unwavering. My child, my dear one, I love you. Be still, rest for your heart, formed of compassion and love, is weary. I don't want your fatigue and weakness to leave you vulnerable to evil. My child, my sweet child, I'm giving you supernatural strength. I take away all the loneliness from your heart. I surround you with my divine and lasting love. I take great joy in your faith and grateful spirit. My dear child, do you love me? Pray to me more often. Don't drift away from me. You maintained your courage and your will to believe and move forward. I reached down when I saw you falling from on high, and I took your hand and turned your heart. You are no longer the same. With love and duty, you have achieved victory. With every triumph and every escape from peril, you have grown. It was not by your power alone that you won this victory. I pray that you realize this, that you believe it, that you understand and accept it. I pray that you know that in my presence, all the joy your heart can imagine is available to you. Today, through your humility and gratitude, joy is opening infinite doorways of blessing before you. You will not retrace your steps or be drawn back into the past where you once fell into the enemy's hands, where your weaknesses were exploited and you faltered. I stood beside you then as I do now, and you know it. You are very thankful, as you should be, for the privilege of coming to me. You needed me. You have felt my desire and longed for me and come to me. You have found me, and I have received you in my fullness. Return with me along the path of your deliverance, the way I guided you out of your affliction. Come, take my hand. You have felt how I delivered you from your trouble. Come with your hand in mine. Receive my strength. Hide from the presence of evil, and I will shield you with my arm. Consider what my words say to you. That eagerness in your voice, 
That love in your prayers makes my heart leap for joy. It's wonderful to hear that I'm first in your thoughts. It pleases me that you have set aside disobedience, pride, and spiritual apathy, and that now you feel a fervor of supernatural warmth coming from the Lord. Let me unfold you as you go through this day. Expect to see many miracles. Tell me, I believe in you, and I love you very much. When you feel sad, call out to me. When you feel afraid, remember that I am your refuge, and I will come to comfort you and strengthen you with my spirit. You will feel my power and know that you are loved, that your life is in my hands, and that all is well. When you have your secret sorrows, when your spirit cries beneath the burden of some question you have no power to solve, call out to me. I will come and strengthen you with my spirit, and in that moment, you will know that my care for you is constant, and all is well. Breathe. Come and stand beneath my arms. I will take you to the sacred corners of your heart. I see what you hide there, all the things you want to say but never find an ear you can trust. Tell me, I understand your meaning. Pour out your heart. We will cast these secret hurts of yours, like a sea of stones, into the deep, where they will sink and be lost forever. And when you are too weary to struggle anymore, stay with me here. Rest in my hands and I will fight for you. I want our relationship to deepen, for you to know me better every day. I want you to rely on me so completely that every morning you open your eyes, you feel the certainty of my ongoing support. I am here to free your mind from angry thoughts and memories, from all the hurtful words of family and friends who doubted you, who said you weren't capable, you weren't good enough, you were destined for failure, you were going to be sad and sick forever. Place your face in my hands, feel my power flowing into you, Feel my voice quieting the noise, telling it to cease forever. I come with healing. Receive it. I am cleansing your mind of all thoughts of inferiority and despair. No longer will you be plagued by anxiety and fear. No longer will doubt and stress hold you in chains. Once again, I restore to you joy, confidence, zest for living and love of family. Hold tight to my holy word. My power and my love will be revealed to you. For now, set aside what you're doing and come spend time with me. I love you. Your sadness will not endure. Today, it is over. I will flood your being with tranquility and your heart with joy. I will answer your prayers and your expectations will be far exceeded. You will see how the forces that were against you will turn in your favor. Those who opposed you will witness my love for you and change their stance. Every corner of your home will be filled with my presence. Your family will be amazed at the power of my presence and what I will do with you. All of this I will do because of my love for you, because you are willing, because you keep your faith, because you endure the difficult path it takes to seek me and to keep following where I lead. Your faith has not faltered, and you have not failed to maintain your faith. I know you have set aside a special place in your life and home for me. You have made me a part of your family and taught them to seek me. This faith and tenacity are bringing you close to overcoming all the difficulties that beset you. Once you were scared and unhappy, but you believed in my love and mercy, and it made all the difference, my child. Your journey with me is ongoing. Each day brings new opportunities to grow in faith and love. Remember that my presence is constant, guiding your steps, even when the path seems uncertain. Have faith in the plans I have for you, for they are plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. As you continue to walk with me, I will reveal more of myself to you. You will see my hand at work in the small details of your life, as well as in the grand moments. Every experience, every challenge, every joy is an opportunity to draw closer to me and to understand my love more deeply. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or moments of weakness. These are part of your human journey, and I use them to shape you and strengthen your character. In your failures, turn to me. 
in your successes, give thanks to me. In all things, seek me, and you will find that I am already there, waiting for you with open arms. Remember, my child, that my presence is constant. Even in the darkest night I remain. When you feel lost, call out to me, and I will guide you. When you rejoice, share your joy with me, for I delight in your happiness. Your life is precious to me, and I cherish every moment we spend together. As you go forth into each new day, carry my love with you. Let it shine through your actions, your words, and your thoughts. Be a beacon of my light in a world that often seems dark. Show others the transformative power of my love through the way you live your life. My beloved, you are on a journey of becoming. Each day, you are growing more into the person I created you to be. Embrace this process, for it is beautiful and sacred. Have faith in my timing, for I am working all things together for your good. Rest in my love, find strength in my presence, and walk boldly in the knowledge that you are mine, cherished and beloved, now and for all eternity. My beloved child, hear my words and let them take root in your heart. Life's journey may test the strength of your faith, but I desire for it not merely to endure, but to flourish with love and fervor. May you walk through each day with vitality and joy, even in the face of adversity. In times when hope seems distant, remember that I am the source of all promises and truth. Let your spirit be renewed by my presence. When trials come, and they will do not let fear discourage you. My guidance remains constant, sharing in your suffering, protecting your aspirations, and helping you achieve all that you hope for. Life can indeed be challenging, but take heart. I have overcome the greatest obstacles, and I long for you to experience a life brimming with joy. My deepest wish is for your journey to be marked by triumphs and blessings, never knowing the sting of true defeat. Hold fast to the words I've spoken to you. As your joy and prosperity grow, be aware that some may resent your success and wish you harm. Such is the nature of this world. But fear not, for I elevate those I love, even when it provokes the anger of others. The strong faith and joy of those in my favor may incite envy in others. But as you follow my guidance, my protection surrounds you. I ask nothing from you, but your best effort and devotion. I see you completely, your strengths and your flaws, your victories and your mistakes. What I seek is your commitment and attentiveness to my words. Your dedication to me is precious. You come to me in times of happiness and call upon me in moments of pain. Let there be no weakening in our bond. Press onward in your journey. Pray and weep freely, for your tears are the seeds of future growth. Whether in sunshine or rain, continue forward. I will calm the storms and still the waves that threaten you. I will address your troubles and soothe your anxieties. Above all, I desire your love. Seek me constantly and keep me at the center of all you do. The faith you nurture will become a mighty shield, a force that dispels darkness, overcomes your weaknesses, and serves as a wellspring of both spiritual and supernatural power. It will enable you to resist seemingly insurmountable temptations, conquer your fears, and stand firm against every form of evil and adversity. Before you begin each day, take a moment to bow your head. Entrust your plans and concerns to me. Pray for your loved ones. Speak words of faith and peace and rejoice. For I am your shepherd and you shall want for nothing. I am your father and you are my beloved child. I will guide you to lush green meadows and lead you beside calm waters. In your home, may the air be free from quarrels and confusion and may the strife that tears at your heart be dissolved. I will keep meddlers from your doorstep, those who would intrude and steal your love, and the troublemakers who seek to disturb your peace. I will root out all sin and the hidden weaknesses that threaten to mar your faith and joy. I will banish pain, ensuring that misery and want never find a place at your table. A day will come when you will see abundance, as though bread appears precisely when it is needed. New paths of growth and enlightenment will open before you. 
I will cleanse your home of all negative influences and habits that drain your strength of character and faith. Remember, my presence is constant. Fix your thoughts resolutely on what is good, pure, and beautiful, on the wonderful plans I have for your life. Avoid seeking companionship in the wrong places or returning to the company of those who would drag you into despair. Stay true to who you are becoming in me. I am not merely a facilitator in your life. I am your source of true happiness. You need not seek permission, approval, or acceptance from anyone to receive my blessings. Never hesitate in your decision to love and serve me. The answer is always yes. In my embrace, you will find pure, faithful, gentle, and healing love. Remember that I was crucified and raised to new life for you, to save you and bring you eternal joy in my presence. Accept this infinite love I offer. Gather your inner strength. Rise up, be courageous, and prepare yourself, for victory is within reach. Though the battle may be fierce and the struggle long, be assured of my constant support. Do not be afraid to dream and dream big. When the world grows harsh and your adversaries plot against you, stand firm like a rock on shifting ground. Cast aside the negative thoughts that hinder you. Wash away the fear that binds you and let nothing and no one stop you from pursuing your dreams. Never abandon them. Add concrete plans to your aspirations. If I have planted dreams within you, it is to convince you that I have the power to bring them to fruition. Believe in me. My support is unwavering. This will always be so. Approach your tasks with passion and determination, courage and resolution. Remember that miracles and wonders can occur through faith. Faith, especially when joined with obedience, will be necessary to accomplish what seems impossible. I rejoice in your faith. Be aware that there will be those who envy you and speak ill of you. Pay them no mind if they call you a fool or criticize you for adhering closely to my words. Move forward as a conqueror. The doubters will be defeated by their own confusion. Disregard any voice that speaks against you. You are destined for an abundance of blessings. It would be a shame for you to falter now. I did not create you to fail. With me, you will prevail. The one who died on the cross for you did so that you might overcome. You were in my thoughts even then. If you hear my voice today, know that I am aware of your troubles. I am your almighty God, and I have blessed you for your faith in me and for your loyalty. I have given you life, and I am your savior. Never forget this. I will never reject, forsake, or fail you. Set aside all your anxieties and cares. Leave them with me in humility and gratitude. Wherever you go, you will see my blessing. My grace and power go with you, and no evil shall harm you. What do you have to fear? I have already answered. I have heard all your dreams, prayers, and endeavors. Let go of your thoughts of loss and fear. My joy redeems you. Be patient and wait. Waiting calmly will be challenging. But now is the time to anchor your faith deep in your heart. Rest and rely on me as a child relies easily. Close your weary eyes that have shed so many tears and lay your head on my shoulder. My precious child, it is not my will that you be distressed. Be at peace. I am bringing refreshment to your spirit with the sweet, living waters of my endless love. I have prepared this blessing for you and I shall renew your spirit with this living blessing day by day. Every day is new. Yesterday held pain, tears, prayers, and struggles. But today brings peace, joy, and calm. Forget the sorrows of yesterday. Receive each day as it comes. Your future is in my hands. Do not fret over difficulties or situations that are within my power to remove. Do your part. Pray and have faith. Do not stop living because of your troubles. Do not hide from me because others say I do not exist. Instead, proclaim my name boldly when you feel the grip of fear. 
For that enemy of your peace is working to shackle you with invisible chains and convince you that he has more power than I do. No spell, trick, slander, or defamation can separate you from my love. With my blood, I washed away your sins. I stretched out my hand and pulled you from the abyss. And now I enclose you in my protection so that you may live without regret. Instead of anguish, let my Holy Spirit dwell in your mind and unbreakable joy reside in your heart. No more tears, no more grief, no more fears of disease, despair, or death. Go forward from here to claim your victory and receive your reward. Continue to believe. You once thought you deserved nothing, but now you must rely on me. I bless you because I love you. I do not condemn or punish. For you, there is forgiveness, understanding, encouragement, and divine love. No force of evil can overcome you, for I am your strength. No one can defeat you, for I am your shield. No spell can curse you, for I am your blessing. No discouragement can trouble you, for you are anointed with my Holy Spirit, who will renew your mind every morning, giving you confidence, zeal, and joy. Should you rely on my love, believe in the constant presence of my spirit, and hold fast to the words I give you today in your darkest hour, then that night will pass. When your soul nears despair and confusion at the onslaughts of the world, listen carefully. I am God, your God, the Eternal, the Creator of heaven and earth, your Father, your Shepherd, your Friend, the Lord of your life. My hand is always outstretched to you when you need help. I want your love and belief. You may be weak, but you will not falter permanently. I know you do not want to disappoint me. I know that when you return to me, you apologize and promise to stay with me. I will always forgive you and give you a chance to start anew. If a righteous person falls seven times, my loving kindness will lift them up each time. I will never stop raising you up, because I believe that the loving kindness I give you will not be taken for granted. Do not follow the path of the wicked who are treacherous. They have relied on my name and cheated many. They may appear to be on the right path, but their hearts are far from me. Beware of these traps and heed my warning. My mercy, love, and forgiveness are always with those who follow my way. But I am also just and strong. My eye is upon those whom I love, and I will not allow them to be led astray. I speak directly to your heart today. Listen to me and pay attention to my voice. I want you to experience true freedom and healing. I ask you to come to me every morning. Listen to me. Bring your life and your family under my protection. Have faith in the bright future I have in store for you. Ignore those who tell you your future is bleak, that your mistakes define you, or that you are doomed to fail. That is not the case. Do not listen to them. I say to you, and I will repeat it until my last breath, that you are mine and that I will be with you always. I have known your broken heart and your sincere wish to follow my ways, to strengthen and grow. You will not return to the ways of the past or associate with those who oppress. You will be with those who exalt you, who lift you up. I want you to know me in every cell of your being. I want you to understand that my love for you surpasses anything you have been taught. I am not hurt by your failings. Rather, I long for your reformation. I shall give you strength to control your anger and make your spirit secure from trivial concerns. Then you will be transformed. People will hardly recognize you. Your face will shine with gladness and fear will flee from you. Your step will be steady, your words gentle. I will give you a faith that cannot be shaken. Day after day you will remember my promises. You will hear me telling you my plans, leading you on the right paths because of my love. I will make your paths straight. You will not have to fear being fooled or deceived. I will silence those who speak evil of you. You will sleep safely and soundly, night after night, in peace and full of vigor. In return, give me your heart and your full allegiance. I don't want you to bear any other yoke. I don't want you to serve another master. I don't want you to be enslaved to anyone else. Just one thing, seek me at the beginning of all your endeavors. Rely on me for everything, and I'll do you good in abundant measure. May you continue to receive my blessings. My love for you is immortal, everlasting, firm, faithful, and sincere. I give it to you and nothing can separate you from it. My love for you is eternal. 
No one and nothing will break this union. I call out to you to be strong, and I will hear your answer. The joy of my heart is to behold in you every seed that I have sown, flourishing as a tree of beauty. For the best is yet to come. You are rising higher than you ever thought possible. You are unstoppable, destined for a land flowing with milk and honey. I know that sometimes you see things in a way that causes you distress, especially when you feel jealous or rejected by others, even by those who claim to love you. Instead of recognizing your value, they may try to diminish it by reminding you of your past, wounding your spirit, and draining your strength. But now, as you listen to my voice, I want you to continue with the tenacity you have shown in difficult times. You will think your way to victory. Do not allow anyone to shake your devotion to righteousness. Don't let them affect your feelings. Have faith in my promises and let my words guide you. You belong to me. I will make everything around you feel good, and I will defend you if anyone tries to fight you. I will stop those who secretly try to undermine your peace and those who mock your ideas. So, rid yourself of the negative thoughts that disturb you when things go badly, when you have conflicts, when you grow weary, or when you face difficult decisions. Come to me. You will find comfort and hope. Whatever the situation, do not feel overwhelmed because my love will protect you. Remember that my presence is constant, guiding your steps and holding you close. Have faith in my unfailing love and let it be your strength in every circumstance. My child, you have embraced my forgiveness and remain true to our covenant. For this, I will shield you from those who oppose you, from ailments that afflict you, and from the darkness that seeks to encroach upon your life. From this moment forward, blessings will flow abundantly into your days. Listen for my voice, the one that speaks to your heart. Hear me, my beloved. I am enfolding you in my love, and my spirit calls out to you. I have gifted you with knowledge beyond human understanding. Stand firm in your faith and refuse to be disheartened. Come to me and receive what I have prepared for you. I know you grow weary of hardship, family strife, financial burdens, and emotional turmoil. But I have made a way for you. I possess the power to lift these burdens and heal the sources of your pain. You may believe your suffering stems from my absence or that you have strayed from the right path. This is not so. I know you completely and there is nothing you could do to drive me away. I am here with you in these trying times. I know your life, your hurts, the tears you have shed. I have never abandoned you. Even when you could not hear my voice or follow my guidance, I have been present, ready to support and comfort you. Now is the time for your healing, my love. Do not lose heart, for I am with you always. I will make myself known to you through my word and through the people I send to bear witness to my presence. Take my words to heart and know that I will never leave your side. My love for you transcends the physical realm. Be confident in who I am. I am the one who formed you before the world's foundation. I know all your dreams, desires, and hopes. Amen.